Breaking news. Kaduna State Governor, we will not negotiate with bandit kidnappers. Air Rufai makes another declaration. You know, Nigerian government has taken it as, I mean, it's a common practice today. Nigerian government negotiates, they liaise with um, bandit kidnappers, they pay them handsomely. And in fact, it's a very good business as it is because, I mean, it's, this is a federal government contract. You get money from the federal government, no question asked, no, 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 you don't have to submit proposal. I mean, this is free money, you do, so much so that they even have uh, clergies, Islamic clergies who does the negotiation. And uh, I wonder what their court is. It has gone into Kaduna State. We know of what happened in, in uh, Niger. Zamfara and other states, you know, we all know of what has been going on. Now is Niger and the uh, Aerofire has put his foot down saying, you know what, eh? I'm not negotiating with anybody. I am not. Whatever you want to do to the people, all well and good. But for me, I am not doing any negotiation. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Subscribe if this is your first time. God bless you. Let's get all the details. Kaduna State Governor Erufai. We will not negotiate with bandit kidnappers. It's a done deal. Governor E. Rufai of Kaduna State has reiterated his administration will not negotiate with bandits. He said that his job as governor is to enforce the law and help to prosecute people who commit offense, not to reward them. Guys, don't forget that he started it too. Erufai started, he was the one who started the whole uh, rewarding of those who killed people in Kaduna State when this whole thing started. Okay, so let's continue. Erufai reiterated his government position during an expanded meeting of the State Security Council, which held at the council chamber at Sir Kasim Ibrahim home house on Tuesday. In addition to regular members from the state government security agencies and traditional rulers, leaders, and invited guests from professional association, trade union, and civil society group, we will not engage with bandits or kidnappers. Private citizens like clergy and clergymen can do so in their individual capacity to preach to them and ask them to repent. We also want them to repent, but it's not our duty to ask them to do so, he said. According to him, the best way to solve the farmers' headers clashes, cattle ranching, and bandit is for nomadic headsmen to live more solitary, solitary life in order for them to be more productive and give their children education across and better health access instead of roaming around. The governor argued that nomadic or transhuman cattle breeding has been rendered obsolete by the urbanizing and population growth, as most of the cattle routes have been taken over by development. Erufai said that Kaduna state government is implanting a big ranching project in Damata Gazi reserve in Kirby local government area, adding that the project will make about 1,500 men home. He further emphasized that the project will enable the headsmen to raise their cattle in a facility with pastures, a school and a, school and a primary health care with a commercial partner ready to buy their milk. The governor commanded the security agencies for all their efforts to keep Kaduna residents safe in spite of the challenges that are facing us currently today. Erufai also called for decentralization of the police force, maintaining that Nigeria is only a federation that operates a unified police force that is founded but not controlled by the state government. So this is Erufai saying that it is high time we all stand up together and say no more to centralized policing you know erufai honestly speaking i don't know on what side erufai really stands he's neither here nor there okay uh erufai is one person when this whole banditry start thing started in kaduna state when they were killing people different issues here and there erufai was the one person who was rewarding them handsomely 
who was giving them money and when they asked him he said they is giving them money so that they will not come back he's giving them money for this that 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 you understand so today is the one saying he will not pay bandits anymore as good as that sound very good very welcoming in fact that is what if the government has not been negotiating with them it won't have gotten to this extent to which it has gotten to because right now they have seen it as a very lucrative business they are very well i mean they are very happy about it <clears throat> There is no cause for concern. They are quite happy with the way things are. They, they, they kidnap these people, put them under pressure. Then the government comes and re re rescue them. I mean, what could be better? They just hold these people for a few days and they see how handsomely they are rewarded. I mean, business is booming. Nigerian government is doing well, quite well. Sending them money left, right and center to ensure. So, you know, the re recent people that were kidnapped, Yes, these are the people uh, is saying we will not pay, we will not pay for any of such thing. We will make sure that, you know, we don't pay, you know, which is good if Nigerian government has been keeping to that and has been doing that from the very onset. If Nigerian government has let the, uh, wherever they are, the bandits or wherever they are from the onset know that, you know, that we don't negotiate, that would have been, for, that would have, I mean, everybody would have known that there is no negotiation. There is no money coming. Uh, you're on your own. But right now, oh no, the Nigerian government will send money. You know, if, if, and the funniest thing is that when you look at the whole statuscope and all that is on ground, you know that Nigerian government is very happy, you know, because some of them get caught. Some of them get, you know, they get something from what is on ground. You know, if not, they will not be going ahead and be negotiating. And this thing is really doing well because there are some government officials who are part and parcel of what is current on ground. Yes, there are people in government houses. There are people from the presidency in Senate, House of Rep, all across lines of leadership that are part and parcel of what is happening in Nigeria. If not, why will a government allow her people to be kidnapped and nobody's speaking? Nobody's saying anything. Nobody's, the security forces we have, they're not even sending them adequately to ensure safety for Nigerians. You know, they know about it and they will pretend like nothing is happening, you know. I mean, it's a very sad reality of what is on ground in our country. So guys, leave us a comment. We'd like to hear from you uh, all that is happening in Nigeria currently today. What do you think? Please don't forget to like or share, subscribe, click on the notification button so you can get all our latest news. God bless you. Bye for now.